Hey, Jay here. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Today's episode is going to be a build. We've all seen how-to videos on electric motors. They're fun and they're the perfect science fair project. The usual materials required are wire, paper clips, permanent magnet, and some even go as far as adding a wooden base. What if I told you that all you actually needed to create a motor was a single wire? No magnet, no paper clips. Don't believe me? Well, get ready because today we're turning this into this a one wire do it yourself motor. Building motors this way has always been my favorite. They can be built extremely quickly, literally five minutes. And while these motors don't have much torque, they can be built extremely compact in this manner. And they look great. Let's take a look at the materials needed to build this motor. To begin, you'll need to find yourself some 26 gauge magnet wire, or thicker, and a pair of scissors. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I guess that was it. Hopefully you wrote it all down. Now this motor is built of three crucial components. The base, the supports, and the spindle, or the spinning coil. So let's get building. Step one, electromagnetic base. This base will act just like a magnet when turned on, repelling the spinning coil. Take any round object one to one and a half inches in diameter and wrap 15 turns of wire around it. Leave several inches on both ends of the wire. Carefully slide the wire off the form and bundle it together by looping two turns of wire around opposing ends, like so. One of these wires will act as a support wire for the spindle while the other acts as an input wire to the base from the battery. Make sure the support wire is as vertical and straight as you can get it. Step two, spindle supports. Not only do these conduct, but they also act as support for the spinning coil up above. Grab a six inch piece of wire. Wrap two turns around the opposite side of the base as the first support, like so. Leave one end pointing perfectly vertical. This is the second support. Next, trim both supports to be one inch tall. Now scrape off the enamel from one side of both supports. Once the enamel is removed, bend them in a loop like so, with the conductive side facing inward. Great, the base and the supports are finished. Now on to the last step. The spindle or the spinning coil, which turns on and off the entire system. Find yourself any round object about a half an inch in diameter and wrap 15 turns of wire around it. Leave several inches on both ends, just like the base. Mimicking the base as well, wrap both ends twice around the coil on opposite sides. Make sure you end up with a linear line between the two ends. Last, point the coil vertically and carefully scrape the enamel off the top half of both ends. This allows for an on-off cycle. At this point, you're done. Congrats. Let's put it all together. Scrape the enamel off the input wires and apply 3 volts. If it doesn't start automatically, give it a little nudge. You now have a functional motor. So cool. But how does this work? Think of the spinning coil as a switch, connecting up the base to the battery. As the spindle rotates around, the half that has the enamel removed and contacts the supports conducts, and electricity flows through the base and the spindle. However, that now means each coil has an electromagnetic field, and they repel each other. So the spindle is repelled in the direction it's already spinning. Once the spindle rotates further, the enamel portion is now in contact with the base. This cuts all electrical flow allowing the spindle to keep rotating under its own momentum. At this point, the cycle repeats every half turn, creating a constant electrical motor. Not only do you have a functional motor, but a motor made out of just a wire. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to share this video. We also have numerous other episodes. You stay classy.